all right we are back in the shop and we are going to do a kind of a cool looking yellow perch design on an s crank so what i've already done is i've already put a white base coat on and i've put a, a coat of uvls over that because i'm going to be using these 3d stencils and they kind of they tend to scratch the bait sometimes i'm not going to clamp it on tonight i'm going to lock it in to the um to my lure holder but we're going to put a little bit of kind of a light green golden on the top we're going to cover up the top just a little bit just a little bit of time So we'll put a few drops in here. Won't need many, maybe about four. Put it down. And then we're just gonna cover up the top. I'm gonna bring it down on the shoulders a little bit. And I'm gonna do the eye. So what we're going to do is clean the gun out real quick. Put a little reducer in it. Take a swab and wipe it out. I don't like mixing colors. And then we'll heat set that really quick. So then I'm going to just turn it a little sideways and lock it down. Normally I would take it out of the stand, but I'm going to try to keep it up in there where you can see it. I'm trying a different camera angle. So we're just going to lay it on here. And I'm going to hold it with my hand to get it on there flush. And the way you can tell is just put your thumb on that part where the bill is and you'll know it's flush down. And what I'm going to try to do is just I'm gonna take some carbon black and I'm just gonna to try to go on the outside. I'm not gonna do the middle. I wanna kind of leave some of that white. So we're gonna put a couple drops of this in here. Get my sponge, my dry tip ready to go. So we can spray a fine line and we're going to hold it and, and I'm just going to try to go on the outside if I can do it. It's going to be hard. These stencils are just. Eh, we're just going to go ahead and do it up. I think it's just it's kind of hard to get it that thin to get it to go up. Take the stencil off, and that's what you get. But we're going to do a little bit different technique on this. We're going to go ahead and dry it off. Go ahead and do the other side since I got the black already in the gun. We'll lock it in. Just set it on. 
take your thumb and touch it. Go ahead and hit it real fast. Take those off. Gives it a kind of a neat design. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna put a little bit of scale pattern on this. So we'll slide these out of the way and we'll go ahead and stick it kind of long ways and I'll take it down just a little bit and I'll just do the crown of the bait is all I'm wanting to do on this so we'll take this and I'll just set it on top and I'll hold it down with my hand because I kind of want a tight pattern anyway and we'll go ahead and just hit this on the top. We'll let some of the overspray run down. And we'll pull that off. And that gives you a kind of a cool looking scale pattern on the top of it. kind of tight. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something different that I haven't done before. I got some of these paint pens and uh, these are Hall, H-U-A-L. I got them on Amazon. And what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna use the yellow. I got yellow and gold out. I may do a little bit of both. So you take them out. This is the first time I've used them. I just got them and you push it down and then the paint starts coming out. And what we'll do, we'll just start kind of going. I don't know if y'all can, let me back my camera out some. Trying to get this thing just about right. That still ain't right. Let's just go down a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is you push down and it gets the paint going. And I'm just gonna do the outside of the black. It gives it a really neat look. You don't want to put a lot on it. I'll finish this side and then I'll let you see it. And that's what it looks like. It gives it a really cool look. I think I'm going to, well, 
I'm going to come up a little bit higher on it. But it really gives it a kind of a really cool look. So we'll heat set that really quick. And then what we'll do is we'll do the other side. Definitely gives it a really unique look. Really turned out really good. But they're just acrylic pins. I mean, you can get them on Amazon for $13 for a set. And it's actually a very, very nice set. Just put your cap back on and put them back in the, in the case. Set those over to the side. This isn't going to be a long video tonight, but I figured I'd share this. It was kind of a cool looking thing. See which eyes I'm gonna use. I think I got some, and I do, I got them right here. We'll use these solid yellow looking down eyes. I'm not gonna do a long video tonight. I think we're getting ready to have a bad storm. I don't want it to interfere with my, um, my audio and all. I don't want the power to go out. We've been having some bad storms. It's been really hot here in Augusta. looks really good yellow and black is a great catcher anyway for me we'll go ahead and take this tape off I don't do a whole lot of perch patterns but I just I don't know I just had kind of a a little niche to do one so and it turned out really cool it turned out just about like I thought it would look you know you kind of have the you get creative with doing certain things and it it's nice when it turns out the way you want it the little scale pattern on top really kind of sets it off it's really tight it's not spread out but it really has a, a really a unique look. So we're gonna set it back in here and we're gonna go ahead and just heat set it really fast. Then we're gonna put a coat of UVLS on it and that's gonna be it. 
I am going to clean this black out real quick because that'll end up being a problem. But this is a really simple pattern. They're really about one, two, about three paints plus. I mean, you got to have one of the pins, but I mean, this may be a little bit more for somebody that's been painting a little while that may even have these. I just got them today, so just playing around with it. It's doing exactly what I thought it would do. So I'll try some other things with it. Black paint is rough to get out of these guns, man. All right, so let's set that up. We'll grab our trusty Eclipse that I use for the UVLS. I got some already mixed up that I used earlier. We'll spray it and let it dry, then I'll go over what we did. Just get it good and wet. And that's all we're gonna do. Go ahead and put some cleaner in that. All I'm gonna do is put some reducer on it. Turn the fan on. Let it sit. Okay, we're gonna let that dry for just a second, then I'll come back and I'll go over everything that we did. All right, well, we are back, it is dried, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a coat of UV resin on. So we'll get our brush ready to go. We already got the bait ready. Put a little bit on this. Go ahead and start putting it on. Man, the colors just start jumping. Doesn't need a whole lot on it. Make sure you get it covered good. Starting to get a storm here in Augusta. You hear it on the shop roof. Just trying to make sure I get a good bit on there. I like to go both ways on it. It is a really unique looking bait, I'll tell you. Turned out really cool. All right, so we're gonna put it in the box and then as soon as it comes out i'll show you the finished results all right so we have got it out of the box but i'm going to go over how we did the bait so the bait the lure blank is an s crank from lure build i actually took and just put a coat of house of colors white base coat i'm just a big fan of the solvent base i like it you don't have to use that the golden titanium is a very good paint too. Then I went over it with one coat of UVLS. And the reason I did that is because I use these 3D stencils and they tend to scratch the bait up, especially if you clamp them both on at the same time. As you saw, I didn't do that. I just left it in my stand, put one side on and tried to uh, just do it that way. And it worked out great. 
What I did was we put the stencil on, then we went back over it with some carbon black. And then on the top, we used some light green golden. And then after we did all the stencil work, we used one of these new Hall H-U-A-L acrylic paint sticks, and we just went around the bars of the perch. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I have upcoming videos. And here is the finished product. Very shiny, very cool looking. Kind of turned out really good. And like I always say, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.